Hello once again, Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics. Well, it's time to get out your old fox tail and bring out the great old records as we check out this 1929 Model A Class of 29 Roadster. This is one of my own model kits that I have built back in the past. So without further ado, let's go down to the bench and see how I built this wonderful AMT model. Here's a nice little 1929 Ford Model A. And this is from AMT. And this time around I painted the fenders with this nice brown color and added on yellow paint as well as a flat black top. The Class of 29 decal actually came from the, the uh, MPC 1929 Ford Model A pickup truck slash Woody. And I added that on there just to give it that sort of uh, like a teenager I just graduated kind of spirit to the car. The license plate is New Jersey 001 AMT, and I do believe that's a historic license plate. I'm not, you know, as far as model cars go, I'm not too sure. Again, we've got the nice little rumble seat back here. Unfortunately, it does not open, but there's a little step you would have stepped on to uh, get up into there. Should also be a step here, sort of above that tail lamp. Interesting, though, that this is the only Model A that has these extended tail lamps in model kit form. Now, the only real thing that you can do with this kit is, of course, open up the hood very carefully just to see that nice little Model A engine in there, as well as the braces. And I can also remove the top, so you can see in there. I use bare metal foil up here on the top of the seat, which we'll look at in a minute. Uh, the steering is not posable on here. This kit you can also build as a hot rod, and it does include I think it includes the Hemi, the Red Ram Hemi. I'm not 100% sure now, I'm forgetting these things. But again, overall it ends up really nice. You get these really cool red tail lamp lenses in there, and the spare tire hangs on the back. So again, very much like the Lincoln, the 27 Lincoln Roadster that we saw. So now let's just roll this here, and I'll bring this up into the camera. So then I'll move my big thumb out of the way. <laughs> Okay, there's that Model A engine. You can see the updraft carburetor and the intake manifold. Now we've got a proper distributor in here, a little bit different than what we're used to uh, in the modern day because you've got all the points in a circle. This one is sort of like a T-shape, so you have these spark plug wires dropping down. And then if we just turn this onto the other side, you can see all the little underhood details. And then there's the engine from this side. And I'm getting my light diffusion paper flopping off the lens. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, there's that engine in there. Again, looks pretty nice. Got the fan up front. And then we can just bring this over a little bit more. And I'll put my pointer down. Okay, so there is the Model A dashboard. And again, you've got your instrument panels inside there and the nice bare metal foil strip across here. Now, in this era, Henry Ford got rid of the old planetary transmission from the Model T era and replaced it with a more modern transmission. And again, you got underneath here. So this little box is the battery from up and underneath. There's the new Model A engine. It's still got the Model T style suspension, but this time around it's actually got the four-wheel drum brakes because at this stage they had figured out how to make the wheels turn in the front and still be able to actuate the, the drum brakes. So prior to that they didn't, so that's why most of the cars had the disc or the drum brakes in the rear. And there we've got again our rear axle with the torque tube going into the back of the engine with the braces coming down. One thing I didn't do was scrape off the mold marks, but again I built this model a long, long time ago. I've also noticed that there is little red specks and things like that getting into the yellow paint. If you look at the cowl here, you can see some little bits right around the oil filler spout. I don't know quite how that like got stuck in the paint. Because what I've been doing is using a microfiber cloth that you get with your glasses and just wiping all these down to get rid of all that dust. Hood is a little bit tight in there, but that's always good. And again, underneath, you get the nice little folding bars in that roof. So, let me just 
just maneuver this and I can put that up top there. And there it is. Sweet little Model A. Definitely. So again, looks really wonderful. If you've built this model kit in the stock form, let us know down in the comments below how did you enjoy it. And uh, if you want to help us with a model car museum, click that join button and for as little as $3 a month, you can help us get somewhere. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed that look at my 1929, class of 29, AMT Ford Roadster, 1929 Model A. <laughs> yeah. So if you enjoy these great videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Give us a thumbs up down there so that our video gets more likes in that YouTube algorithm so that we can get this video out to more and more people that really enjoy seeing it. So I really want to thank everyone for tuning in. And if you've built this kit in the past or are building it now, let us know in the comment section below just how you liked it. And until next time, everybody, happy model building.